In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make your zone coverage much, much more effective in Madden 23. And I do think that this will carry over into Madden 24 for a variety of different reasons. One of them being uh, just a basic system that they put in this year for zones. This is going to, uh, I think, have a fairly, uh, fairly transparent like crossover. So, anyways, uh, if you guys want to get my entire dollar uh, three two defense, even we're in the forty six playbook today. If you want to get the entire dollar defense, super deep dive into the formation where we actually teach concepts that will cross apply into Madden twenty four. That will be in the Patreon. By joining the Patreon, it's only ten bucks. It'll get you access to all of my Madden twenty three offensive and defensive ebooks. Uh, as well as all the updates and anything that we drop over the summertime uh, to kind of help you get better for Madden 24. All right, guys, so uh, I wanted to talk today a little bit about zone coverage, and the biggest thing here is we're going to turn our zone coverage to match, and then we're going to put our auto alignment to base, and we're going to show you how to adjust out of this DB Fire 2. Now, we'll, we'll throw uh, Cover 4 and Cover 3 Cloud in, as well as Spinner, just so that we have kind of a, a different... Some different options to show different concepts. Uh, cover six and cover three cloud, I think, are super underrated covered shells in dollar. Uh, but anyways, so uh, how Madden 23 works, real quick, uh, just a little bit of a crash course on Madden 23. So if I go with this cover three cloud and I have a cover three to the short side of the field, what will happen, especially if you play someone that's running compression, now today's video is going to be very good for compressed sets, anything like tight, tight doff set, tight doubles, uh, any kind of tight or tight slots, any kind of tight set. Um, basically, what happens is if we run a route combo like this, this uh, streak on the left side should clear out space, and I should be able to throw this to the sideline, as you can see right there, able to hit that, able to hit that soft spot. Now, if I was to flip uh, the formation, and also if I was to flip the cover three, so it looked like this. Okay, now what you're going to see is a little bit of a different result because Madden is based off of a grid in terms of zone logic. And so what you'll see is this outside third will guard this corner out when he cuts to the outside. Okay, so what this tells us is essentially when you're playing a tight set, if they're going to flood you to the sideline, generally speaking, they're going to flood you to the short side of the field. Now, this also, the same principle, cross applies if they utilize a post or a crosser. So let's say I did something like this. You'll notice that this post route, when I cut across, is gonna be wide open. Because why? Because they clear out that, they clear out that third defender. However, let's say I go to a play, uh, and I'll just be able to show you like this. But let's say I go to a play like post will drag and I do the same basic thing. Maybe it looks something like this. This post route, once it cuts over the middle of the field, if I try to throw that on the sideline, you see the outside third defender is going to be able to be in position. So it cross applies to crossers as well. And typically what you're going to see is if somebody wants to, you know, run a deep post route and try to get over your 30 yard cloud, they're going to want to try to do this to the short side of the field this year. So maybe they run a route combo like this. They utilize this deep post. And what you'll see is on that spot, the middle third defender actually played really good. But you see the idea. Okay. So the other problem with all of this is in Madden 23, if I try to press my cloud flat, you're going to notice that it's not so good for me. You'll see right here, this um, this corner route is gonna get over the top of that cloud flat. So that's what makes zone so hard to play. I think part of it is what makes zone so hard to play. So what can we do? Well, what we can do is we can create this coverage shell that I think is really advantageous. So I'm just gonna show it out of cover four first. So essentially what we're gonna try here is to shade outside and underneath and an outside quarter. And a lot of times what will happen is it might not play it every time. But if they throw it early enough, you see how he was able to break on the ball. If I have deep out zone knockout on my outside corners, it can significantly help um, that, that defense. Now, the other little trick to this is a quarter zone that you hot route is different than a cover four drop quarter zone. So if I put this outside corner in a quarter 
and then maybe I do something like this and kind of create a coverage like this. Now what you're going to be able to see here is this quarter zone has a shot to be able to play this. So you see here, I try to throw it over the sideline. Wasn't able to get it, but it is a more dangerous throw than it was previously. And you're still in a safe outside quarter, so they're not going to destroy you um, over the top. So again, put the outside quarter out there, and then this time we'll send some pressure because you always want to be sending pressure this year. So we'll send at least four, if not five. And what you should see is they are going to have to rush this throw. And that's what makes this quasi-decent. So you see here, pressure coming in. i got to rush the throw. And you see that the outside quarter defender is kind of in the area. Um, so this is something that you can utilize to slow this concept down. And instead of using a cloud flat on the short side, which you should be able to use, use a quarter. Now, if you want the cloud flat to work, what you have to do is you have to back him up five to ten yards off the ball. And when you back him up five to ten yards off the ball, then you can run a covered shell basically like this. And this is going to be a pretty good covered shell. You know, something like this or maybe even a hook curl in the middle. Something like this is really effective at a dollar, especially if you're willing to back this guy off. Because you see how he's going to throw it right into that cloud flat defender. So... You know, it is kind of one of those things where it's a little bit of a giveaway, like, okay, I'm giving this away. Now, the one thing I would recommend is every now and then you want to, you know, maybe create a coverage that looks like this where you have a hard flat defender. And now, you know, you're still the same basic thing. But the hard flat, what this is going to do is let's say they start throwing wheel routes galore. This hard flat will come down and he'll at least especially as flat zone KO, he'll at least give that wheel route trouble because that's what they'll start doing is they'll start throwing these wheel routes. Um, one other way to combat the wheel route is to utilize like a, essentially a double flat over here on the side. If you do that, what you want to make sure that you're doing um, is you probably want to stay in a cover two shell because you still want to be able to send four. So you always want to be able to send four and realistically, they're not going to be able to do a whole lot on this right side. Um, even if they do run a route, route combination like this, but that four verticals idea, you know, maybe they run like a hitch and a post and a, and a street. It's a cop, very popular concept. So here, if you think about it now, you're going to be able to take away both wheel routes because that hard flat defender will take both wheel routes away. And now all I got to do is get over here and kind of lurk that side of the field. So this is how you can utilize the quarter adjustment to be able to make your zone defense better. Now, if you guys want to learn more about how to run this dollar defense to its fullest potential, join the Patreon for just $10. We just updated the dollar defensive ebook and dropped a massive deep dive into not only dollar as a whole, but also individual adjustment concepts out of dollar that you can cross apply into any year of Madden. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description, go click the link below. 10 bucks will get you access to everything over at the Patreon page.